Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download and install Alma Linux OS 10.0 on VirtualBox. So, first download by going to Alma Linux official website that is almalinux.org. Hit enter, then click on download. See here the latest release is Alma Linux 10. Okay, and if you want 9 version, see here we have the 9 version details. See, and see here we have these three types of ISO images DVD boot minimal if you want to find the differences go to this here they define the differences but in this video I am going to download Alma Linux OS 10 DVD ISO it is up to you so click on download see download started go to download see here it's a size is 6.8 gigabytes I am cancelling this one because I have already downloaded see here I have already downloaded Alma Linux standard 0 Okay, DVD ISO image. And in your case, wait until download completes. Once download is completed, then open VirtualBox. If you have installed VirtualBox, then search for my YouTube channel how to install VirtualBox on Windows or Linux operating systems. Okay, now open VirtualBox. Then click on New R Machine and select new both are same then provide the name for the virtual machine i am giving name as then select the folder to store this virtual machine files and folders this is the default location if you want some other location click on drop down and select other then select the path where you have the enough space Select the folder, then select the downloaded ISO image. See, once we select it, type change it to Linux, subtype to Red Hat and version to Red Hat 64 bit. Okay, see here we don't have Alma Linux, but it is Red Hat family. Okay, so this is fine. Then select the checkbox that is skip attended, unattended installation. Then come to hardware. Here memory selected as 2 gigabytes. I am going to give it to 4 number of cpu cores 2 then come to hard disk i'm giving 50 gigabytes so okay with all the settings then click on finish but still if you want to modify the settings of the machine right click then select settings or go to machine and settings or just click on this settings i'm not going to change anything except go to system only pointing device I am selecting USB tablet then click on OK then if you are OK with all the settings then click on start use up and down arrow select the first one that is install Alma Linux standard 0 hit enter Now select the language and click on continue. See here begin installation is grayed out why because the options that are marked with red color must be filled. Okay. So select the installation destination. I am okay with the default one. Click on done. Then root account. This by default it is disabled. I want to enable and provide the password. Confirm the same. Then select the checkbox that is allow root SSH login with password. Okay, it is up to you. Click on done. Again, user creation. I am giving user full name as Artoscos. This is a username. And see here the checkboxes add administrative privileges to this user account. Okay. And require a password. So I want to select both. Then provide the password for this user. Then confirm the same. Then click on done. Software selection. See, I am going with server with GUI. If you want only server, then select this one. And minimal install workstation, custom operating system, virtualization most. It is up to you. Okay. So, once we selected this, see this side, uh, right side, we have the options to select these additional softwares. Okay. So, whatever you want, you can select these additional softwares. 
see here we have different options so you can select any one of them okay so we are okay with all the settings then click on okay and time time and date and other options i'm okay with all the settings now click on begin installation see installation has been started this will take time i'm going to pause this video at the end it will ask us to reboot the system then we will reboot the system and we will perform the post installation steps okay in meantime please subscribe my channel for more tutorials See installation is completed, click on reboot system. Click on username and provide the password. Skip, see this is the version number and this is the name. Okay, purple line. Okay, click on skip. Now open terminal. Let me increase the font. Click on these horizontal bars, then preferences, then select the palette. Then scroll down, click on here, then increase the part. Select it, close this one, and see, font has been increased. Also, change the color thing. Verify the version that we have shall more slash etc os hyphen release. See, we have start for all my links was 10. Purple line okay. So control it now. We have to update the packages sudo dnf update ampersand ampersand sudo dnf upgrade hit enter then provide the password of sudo user. Type and hit enter is updating these two packages sorry upgrading see see these are the default applications okay type away again hit enter so see everything is updated so in this video we have seen how to download and install all my linux os 10.0 on virtual box okay for more tutorials please subscribe my channel thank you